Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned. Bipartisan senators propose extensive drone regs. First FAI World Drone Racing Championship solicits bids. And AeroVironment's WASP AE selected for Small Unmanned Aircraft Systems Program. Hi, I'm Bree Cross. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned Program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI. A curious, if not confusing, new bill authored by a bipartisan mix of senators pretty much wants to do away with federal preemption and give state and local governments the power to regulate drones flying under 200 feet AGL. The chaos potential, of course, is huge, and industry reaction has been largely negative. Senators Tom Cotton, Dianne Feinstein, Mike Lee, and Richard Blumenthal have introduced the Drone Federalism Act. The senators insist that in the time frame between September 2015 to September 2016, nearly 1,500 drone incidents were reported. Mind you, such reports have previously been picked apart elsewhere and by a number of authorities. The act claims to recognize the FAA's general authority over the NAS while empowering state, local, and tribal governments to issue restrictions on the time, manner, and place of drone operations within 200 feet of the ground or a structure. These could include reasonably low altitude speed limits, local no-fly zones, temporary restrictions, and prohibitions on reckless and drunk operators. The bill asserts that the federal government will respect private property rights to the airspace immediately above a property up to the first 200 feet. The bill also directs the FAA to partner with cities and states to test out different approaches, inform the Unmanned Traffic Management Pilot Program, and report best practices. Manned aviation is exempt from this bill scope. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. In June, Audi of North America will become the first company to test autonomous vehicles in the state of New York when the company begins testing the technology in Albany on June 13th. The company plans to demonstrate and test vehicles that have SAE Level 3 automation, which means that a vehicle is capable of automated driving at posted highway speeds when specific conditions are met. A Connecticut Police Department has placed an order for Drone USA's military-grade Shadow Police UAS. The Shadow UAS can be used for a variety of missions, including search and rescue, crowd control, and crime and traffic scene analysis. Drone USA CEO Michael Bannon notes, quote, We are excited about aggressively entering into the U.S. police drone market. North Dakota Governor Doug Burgum has announced the formation of the UAS Detection and Counter UAS Task Force that will focus on supporting the development and advancement of technologies that can protect and defend against UAS engaging in threatening and or rogue activities. Thomas Sawyer, Jr., President of Grand Sky Development Company, and Nicholas Flum, Executive Director of the Northern Plains UAS Test Site, will co-chair the task force. As you may be aware, Airborne Unmanned is part of the Aero News Network's many news offerings that cover all aspects of aviation and aerospace. We're starting a search for an additional news editor, especially one with unmanned technology expertise, as well as a sales and marketing staffer to support our many news and feature programs. For more information, send an email to jim at aero-news.net. That was our Unmanned Minute, now back to the rest of the news. FAI has issued a call for bids for the first FAI World Drone Racing Championships to be held in late 2017 or early 2018. Billed as the number one sports series of the new generation, the FAI World Drone Racing Championships will harness the international excitement and enthusiasm around drones in a four-day World Championship competition. It will see the world's best drone racers compete for the most prestigious title in the sport, FAI World Champion. Quote, drones are a hot topic today, said FAI President Fritz Brink. They are easily accessible and revolutionary flying machines and are found in all parts of life, including leisure, business, science, media, and sport. The FAI is inviting bids from interested cities and venues around the world 
to host the event in either the last quarter of 2017 or the first quarter of 2018 and to be held thereafter on an annual basis. The competition may be staged indoors or outdoors and will be based on the rules that the FAI has developed for RC drone racing. Chosen venues need to be challenging, safe and interesting, and accessible for spectators. FAI medals will be awarded in several classes, including individual, junior, female, and team. AeroVironment's WASP AE Small UAS has been selected by the Australian Defense Force for their $101 million Small Unmanned Aircraft Systems program. Weighing just under 3 pounds, the WASP AE has a flight time of up to 50 minutes and can operate at a range of up to 5 kilometers. Using its pan tilt Zoom Mantis I 22AE gimbal payload, the UAS, which is launched by hand and can land on the ground or in fresh or salt water, delivers live, streaming color, and infrared video. The ADF Indefinite Delivery Indefinite Quantity contract says that AeroVironment has to deliver its WASP AE systems over a three year period. Training and logistic support will also be provided for up to a decade as part of the contract, which will have a value of up to $36.5 million for AeroVironment. To provide the WASP AE UAS, AeroVironment is working closely with XTEC, General Dynamics MediaWare, and Sentient Vision. AeroVironment and XTEC will also help the ADF with its immediate needs by providing local maintenance, training, and field support. Well, that's our program for this week. In addition to this program, our daily Airborne Limited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed Monday through Friday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tweet us. Get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net and more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned at auvsi.org and airborne-unmanned.net. We'll see you next week.